वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब क्लास गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ एज यूर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू मूव आर सेल्फ टू लास्ट मेड्यूल ऑफ आवर एज यूर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर कॉन्टेंट इट्स अ बेसिकली को रिलेटेड टू द मॉनिटर एंड हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर द बैकअप एंड एप्लीकेशन सर्विसेस सो लेट मी शो यू द कॉन्टेंट दैट वी नीड टू कवर इन केस ऑफ मेड्यूल फिफ्थ uh so now i'm just going to move ourselves to our desktop screen and discuss about the content first and according to the content we will perform the entire task okay so this is our uh, desktop and meanwhile let me show you the content so as per the content of microsoft ag104 we have just completed entire topics related to microsoft azure networking and this time monitor and maintain as your resources so in this module it will basically it will help you up to 10 to 15% questions in final examination but our responsibility to perform the practical task and according to that we need to prepare ourselves for the examination as well so uh, i'm just going to show you the core content of uh, monitor and backup uh, as your resources this is last module of ag104 i'm just going to click here it will redirect you on the page of uh, content like introduction of our backup describe as your backup benefits implement as your backup center set up recovery service vault and uh, backup options we'll discuss about configure on premises file and folder backup how to take the backup of our on premises files and folders so guys this is our agenda and i'm just going to start from the very basic like uh, we'll discuss about the concept of azure backup and then create our one recovery service vault with the help of recovery service vault we'll try to understand about the difference between backup and replication so let me explain you about the theoretical part and after that we'll move ourselves for the practical activity as well but firstly we just need to know about the concept of azure backup maintenance so let me explain you but before that if you new on my youtube channel if you're watching my video first time so please do subscribe teach me cloud your on youtube channel so our agenda is to configure azure backup and replication right so in this module we will discuss about the backup benefits and also how many options are available in our backup center and we'll also create a one recovery service vault so as we know that for example this is our azure portal for example in azure portal we created a multiple virtual machine these all are the servers we have a storage we establish a database vm and sql server storage and application services like as a azure app as a administrator it's our responsibility to configure backup of these resources correct so for the backup purpose azure establish one service called uh, recovery service vault the use of recovery service vault can help us to configure the backup of uh, azure resources it can help you to configure the backup of azure resources and it can also help us to create backup for on prem resource on prem resources it will give you option to set up a azure stack the meaning of azure stack is basically which is a combination of our on premises and azure services so i'm just going to give you one ex example means one practical to configure backup for azure storage and we know that in azure storage we have a n number of options so we'll try to create the backup for azure file share so for this particular task what you need to do we just need to create one recovery service vault
By using the recovery service world, we will create a backup. I'm going to open our Azure portal. Okay. And then we'll proceed for and uh, create one file share. Then we'll proceed to create Azure recovery service world. So open the storage, select the storage account. Maybe it will take up to 30 to 40 seconds. Once our storage account is ready to use, uh, we will proceed for the next step. Next step is correlated to, you can say that, set up Azure Recovery Service Vault. And select storage because the Recovery Service Vault is a part of storage. Second option, see, this is Recovery Service Vault. We don't have any vault, so I'm just going to click Create Vault. Select your resource group. Type the name of your vault, like I'm going to proceed with name of training vaults 1988. You must need to use the unique name, okay? You must need to use, uh, you can say that case, it's a case sensitive, so make sure to not use any kind of special connector. Japan is our location because our storage account is also available in Japan is proceed to create. Meanwhile, let me check the status of our storage account. Okay, it's ready to use. Wait for a few seconds because we just proceeded to create our Azure Recovery Service Vault. Deployment is in progress. Meanwhile, I'm going to open our storage account. And in the storage account, we just need to click file share. Click here and type any name. It's depend upon you. Just going to proceed with one file share. Test file. Okay. You must need to use small character. Do not use any space and create. File share data, okay, and create. This is our file share. I'm just going to upload few data from our on-premises machine. Open file share. It will give you option to upload the data from your base machine. So I'm just going to upload few files. Just need to select what you want to do. I'm just going to select images like uh, I wanted to select uh, a single two different image for this particular practical. Done. And add. Upload the image or file folder anything to our file share. So we successfully added four different files. Our responsibility to create a backup for these files. Open recovery service vault. Under the recovery service vault, we will find n number of options. Like as we are able to find backup. In the backup part, whenever we click on the backup, it gives you option to create a multiple types of backup like Azure backup. Azure Stack Hub, Azure Stack HCI are on, on, on premises. So our agenda to create a backup for our file share. So I'm just going to select Azure. Second option, file share, click add, means click backup. It will redirect you on page of select uh, storage account. I'm going to select the storage account. Storage account that you created. So just need to click here and it will show you the option of your storage account that you created. So before that, I'm just going to refresh the page. Uh, let me click on home page, then select recovery service vault. And under the recovery service vault, we just need to open our walls, select 
backup and we wanted to configure the backup of azure file share so that's why i'm going to select azure file share backup then click select it will show you the number of storage account that you created like in our case we created a storage account 98 just need to select your storage account and it will redirect you on page of the file share that you created under the uh, azure storage account so maybe it will take time for the registration to pick the information of your storage account to recovery service vault and after that it will it will guide you about the number of files that you created number of data that you uploaded in our azure file share service so it still is in progress maybe take up to 90 seconds means more than one minute and let's wait for a few more seconds and after that we'll proceed and select our data for the backup purpose so meanwhile let me explain you about the uh, activity that we did that we completed in this particular practical so first step you just need to open recovery service vault and create one recovery service vault that help us to create backup for multiple resources for testing purpose we created one storage account and under the storage account we already created one file share under the file share we uploaded few data from our on premises machine so what you need to do select open your recovery service vault select your storage and then click on add to select the number of files that we created so this is file share i wanted to add our file share because i wanted to configure the backup of entire files which is available in file share no need to do anything click enable backup because this is the policy we will discuss more about the policy but for now i'm just going to just activate the backup and configure for backup num policy deployment is in progress once our backup is ready we will just click on the backup policy and click on the backup now okay now backup is ready we just need to click here this is our vaults and click on backup item under the backup items it will guide you the number of backup that you configured so in our case we configured the uh, files backup and now initializing is in progress just click on three dot and click backup now and click ok within second you will take the backup of entire data which is available in our uh, file share so guys this is all about the backup procedure i hope you all of you understand about the concept in next video we will discuss more about because we need to know about how to recover the data and also configure the replication of any resources so that's it guys for today's we'll connect tomorrow and discuss more about the backup and monitoring system thank you guys take care bye bye and do subscribe teach me cloud your own youtube channel